kind of in a way begin to tame some of the crazy wildness that is happening up here. Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back. So today we're working up front again. Um, I got a few more plants to fill in some things up here and to kind of in a way begin to tame some of the crazy wildness that is happening up here. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna refresh a few more pots up here. We did that a few weeks ago um, but we've got a few more that need to go in <laughs> and I brought that guy home and I was a negligent gardener. I totally forgot to water him. So he's a little wilty. I'm not sure if he's going to pull through um, but we'll find out. I have gone on ahead and given him a good a good water. So this is the Dracula Celosia. Um, hopefully he pulls through. But I'm going to go on ahead. I'm going to put you on hyperlapse because I do need to pull out several plants here. And then what I will do is I'll start putting in their replacements and basically getting things kind of cleaned up and kind of put back together, I guess you could say, for the fall months. So let me go on ahead, get you on hyperlapse, and we'll get this video going. Um, I am actually not going to worry about filling all of these pots that are up here because we have very few things that are really going to be able to get really large in size in our zone for the temperatures that we are starting to have. So, by example here, I've pulled out the coleus that was around this beautiful lemongrass that we've got growing. Now, I was thinking about pulling the lemongrass, but what I think I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna get in there, I'm going to pull out the stuff that is dead, cut it back a little bit, and then what I will do is go in down here at the base and fill it in with a fall-inspired um, filler that is just gonna kind of add a little bit of color. Same with this low pot down here. I've got some pansies, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to refresh that pot with some pansies. It's a low grower, so it's not going to get real tall. About the only thing that's going to get tall is, of course, this celosia that you see here, because they do enjoy some cool weather. I put this guy in a pot. Hopefully it will kind of bounce back a little bit. But what I will also go in and do is I've got some tiny violas here. Got a six pack of those, so I think I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna tuck that in around this bronze grass as well and probably along the celosia that's back there just to give a little bit more depth and pop of color. So, as I said, this time of the year we have very few plants that are gonna get much size on them. So really I'm just kind of tidying and clearing up and pulling stuff together that is going to add just a little bit of depth dimension and color during the fall months and once these grasses get hit with some of the frost that's coming they will probably really brown up <laughs> and they will have a very very dead look but the good news is is that these other fillers that I have the violas the pansies these guys are going to take the frost and they'll still be a bright pop of color once these guys die back and you know get kind of more 
brown and limp looking. It'll be very, very fall. It'll be very um, autumn inspired all the way up through the end of November. And then by then what we'll do is we'll just go on ahead and probably cut everything back. See if the grasses will come back because some of these, like the lemongrass, it could possibly come back. There's no guarantee on it, but it might. Um, this brown guy right down here, that's a proven winner. Um, it is technically zoned for us to come back, but I have it in a pot. So keeping it in a pot, 50-50 hmm, shot on it coming back, but it may come back. You never know. Um, it may just pull through into the spring, in which case we'll just let it fill in that pot, put some filler around it to add some color in the spring. If the pansies don't make it, I very much doubt that the pansies will die in there, but they'll probably come back more likely than the grass even will come back. So that is just, that's just part of fall. Fall for us is kind of kind of like spring is in a way. It's a time to tidy up, to clear out, to remove excess, and to just <sighs> simplify. It's just a time to simplify and enjoy what is here and I kind of enjoy that period of rest and emptiness I guess you could say that space that we end up creating so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these six packs here I'm going to start getting those added in I'm going to gather up the pots that we have extra of and start putting them away into the garage and then I'll probably give the area just a, a little bit of a, a sweep. Um, get some of the dirt and leaves out of here and just get it cleaned up. So let's go on ahead and put you guys back on hyperlapse and get these flowers planted. That is all done. Um, things are looking a little bit more put together in the trash. And I'm happy with the way things are starting to shape up. It's looking a lot cleaner, a lot more put together. Um, yeah, so it's just going to be, I think it's going to be a lovely fall. And they will go on ahead and fill in these little pots that you see here. It's just a nice bright pop of color. As I said, as the rest of everything is starting to die back, the mums will also open up as the weather gets cooler and they will be a nice pop of color because they actually enjoy opening up during the cool phases of the month. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for coming along and hanging out with me today. And also for anyone who is wanting to maybe stay closer in touch with our content than just watching the videos, I will drop a link down to our newsletter below so that you can join that newsletter because if this goes away, you'll still have all of our content at your fingertips on the newsletter. You'll be able to watch the videos You'll be able to join in the conversation and just help us build a community here on La Casita Jardin because that's really what we're trying to do here. So guys, I'll see you on the next video. Oh, and don't forget, for those of you who are in the States, we do have our new 
homesteading t-shirts available also on our stand store and that'll be in the link below as well. We'll see you guys on the next one.